Week of love. Colton's birthday week. Tell somebody you love them. All right? All right? Be, show love all week long. Okay? Thank y'all. Thank you. Special guest tonight in the house, Will Smith. What's up, what's up, guys? So, how was y'all's week? Y'all had a good week, so y'all? Y'all have any tests? Yes. I had, a, I had a common assessment in math Wednesday. It wasn't fun. I made, I made like an 82 on it. I don't, I don't like. Trust me, geometry in high school is not easy. It is not. Tucker, be quiet. So, you know, we got a, we got a special day coming up this Friday, you know, Valentine's Day. Y'all got any big plans for it? What do you got? <laughs> That's cool. Tanya, what do you have? Oh, yeah, the mustard seeds having a little Valentine's reservation thing with live music. It's really cool. <laughs> It's sixty-two dollars a couple, I think. It's sixty-two dollars a couple, or something like that. A lot of money, and then it has uh, childcare for extra. It's not fun. So this uh, this past week, I went to my grandma's house. You know, just an early Valentine's Day gift, um, and I decided to make her some spaghetti. And and, and y'all, y'all like spaghetti? I like I like spaghetti. I love it. Like I love Ita- I love Italian food. What? Chicken noodle soup, that's good, that's good. No hush, Carson. But um, anyway, I made her some, you know, spaghetti. And while I, while I was making the spaghetti, you know, I'm like, hmm, this, this floor wasn't swept up, swept up good. So as my grandma, uh, when my grandma came to my house, I started sweeping just to make it look nice for her. And then I went over to uh, the bathroom, you know, I started cleaning the bathroom. And then the spaghetti was done, and so I gave, I gave my grandma the spaghetti, and she started eating, and she said it was really good, and I gave her some sweet tea for, as a drink. And uh, as she was eating that, I started to uh, go and dust, dust the panel above the TV, dust the mantel, and uh, eventually, you know, I saw, I looked at the sink, and it was a mountain of dishes, and, you know, I, like, especially the grime scene room, you don't want a full sink of, dirty, a sink full of dirty dishes, so, uh, you know, I went and cleaned that up, you know, and then I started to make my grandma some red velvet cake because uh, who doesn't love red velvet cake, right? Anybody? Jeez, y'all, y'all need to be more energetic. It means that you like it. <laughs> but anyways, um... I wasn't able to. Eat. I wasn't able to eat with her, but I was able to make her the food, you know. But she had to leave, and um, I gave her a slice of uh, red velvet cake for the road. But I considered it a successful Valentine's Day, you know. Made something for my grandmama. Um, made her some food. Clean up the house and stuff like that. But um, I see it as a successful day. What do y'all think? Do y'all think it was a successful successful day? Yeah. What about you, Corey? Yeah. Yeah. What is that not a successful day? What? 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 What's wrong with that? Ah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see that. I I thought it was a, I thought it was a good day, you know, it was a good meal. But yeah, on the other side of the story, I didn't spend enough time with my grandmama and uh in the end it would um it wouldn't have really been any as much fun if I would have spent time with her cuz you know, especially my grandmama, she has the funniest stories about when she was a little baby when she was a little baby and when she was a little girl. And it was always funny. Like, there were sometimes she told me stories about when she scared her mama uh, at night because she walked into a room because she was scared, and her mom didn't know who, she, who it was, so her mom kind of went crazy. Um, but it was kind of funny. And she always makes me laugh with all these jokes, and she laughs so <laughs> She laughs in the weirdest way, too. And she always, she always makes me watch a movie with her, and it's always fun like that. But have you all ever heard a situation like this? Maybe um, it was Valentine's Day, 
you don't have to be cooking on Valentine's Day. Um, you could be, heck, you could be like, if you want to spend Valentine's Day with your siblings, you could be on the trampoline with them, having fun. Um, but you're focused on doing what you want to do, or maybe you want to spend time with your family or your cousins, like at a Valentine's Day family reunion. And but all you're doing is you're on your Xbox, your PlayStation, or the Wii, whatever, you're on some sort of gaming console. You're not really paying attention to them, but you're pay ten- paying attention to what you're doing. And so um, sometimes you're cu- um, sorry. Sometimes it could also be things like reading a book, and you're focused on that, and you're not focused on spending time with your family. And so uh, sometimes certain distractions, they can prevent us from connecting with others. And so um, right now we're going to look into a bit of a story about, in Jesus' life, about two sisters named Mary and Martha. So can I get two girl volunteers you and you. So, so quick, quick question. What are you? What are your names? Gabby. Hi, Gabby. I'm Will. Hi. Ellie. Ellie. Hi, Ellie. I'm Will. So, you're going to be Martha, and you're going to be Mary. And so, you know, Jesus was uh, walking. Jesus was walking up. He was he was walking up. You know, and he was met by Mary and Martha and their brother Laz- Lazarus. But Lazarus kind of left to go do something. So it was just Mary and Martha with Jesus. And so during this time, you know, Martha was, uh, <clears throat> Martha decided to do some cleaning. So here you go, Martha. Yeah, she decided to, nowadays, you might, she might not have been sweeping the house, but nowadays she probably would have been doing something like that. So Martha was sweeping and stuff like that. While Mary was just sitting at Jesus' feet, listening to what he had to say. And um, continually, she kept on sweeping and sweeping. And then after that, um, it was getting, Mar- Martha's like, you know what? It, I think this floor is good enough. And so she, uh, instead of taking the broom, instead of sweeping the floor, she decided to, uh, you know, go clean the bathroom. You know. Yes, that's a new plunger. I mean, I don't, I don't know how good, how old these props are. Corey makes us the props, but uh, she said, <laughs> <laughs> "So you know." And then Martha decides, yeah, she had to put on some gloves. So uh, uh, nowadays, Martha would probably also cleaned up the bathroom a little bit. And Mary was just, uh, she was still sitting at Jesus' feet, listening to what he had to say, and uh, just sitting there. And so, you know, Martha's cleaning the toilet. And uh, she also, then she started thinking to herself, hmm, I wonder if, uh, nowadays she probably would thought, I wonder if the clothes are folded good enough. And so she would have taken this and... It's a, uh, it's a, consider it, consider it like, a, you know, like a mattress or a bed sheet. She, you know, she started folding it. And so, you know, Mary was still just doing nothing and uh, listening to Jesus and taking in what he has to say. And so, eventually, Martha was saying, you know what? I think this mattress sheet is good enough. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start preparing more food so Jesus, Mary, and I can go eat. So, you know, she starts preparing some food, maybe some soup, you know, maybe some good roast. Who doesn't, I mean, who loves a good roast? I mean, you know, yeah. Roast's pretty good, yeah. And so all this time, Martha is just, um, she's cleaning, and she's doing all this stuff, and she pauses, and she's thinking, my sister Mary is doing nothing. And she goes, and... Um, <clears throat> Sorry, I apologize. But she goes and she goes to Jesus and she's like, yo, um, why ain't ain't Mary doing anything? And so um, there's a verse up here, Luke 1040. You want to put it up there? Does anyone want to read this? So Martha was busy doing all the things that had to be done. She came to Jesus and said, Lord, my sister has left me to do the work by myself. Don't you care? Tell her to help me. Luke 1040 nerve. 
nerve. Anyways, and here, read this, one, read this other verse real quick. Martha, Martha, the Lord answer, answered, you are worried and upset about many things. Luke 4, oh, but only one thing is needed. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. So, yeah, Martha, her, Martha went to Jesus. She's like, yo, my sister isn't doing nothing. She's like, I'm doing, I'm, Martha's like, I'm doing all the cleaning, you know. She's like, Martha, Mary's just over here just, listen, you doing nothing. Shouldn't you tell her that she needs to be helping her sister clean? She needs to be helping her sister, uh, making their house look nice for you. And so Jesus was like, no, only one thing is needed. And so she basically, what I like to call, a truth bomb. She just he dropped it on her. He's like, <clears throat> he said, "You're worried and upset about many things, but few are needed. Really, only one thing is needed." And so Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. In other words, Jesus wasn't saying that um, you shouldn't. Jesus wasn't saying you shouldn't work. He wasn't saying working is a bad thing. But sometimes, when you want to feel loved, all you have to do is spend time with your family. All you have to do is spend time with somebody. You don't have to go and make the house look nice and stuff like that. I'm not saying that uh, kids, and this could also go with husbands and wives, I don't know. You don't have to, uh, that doesn't mean you should still clean up the house or clean up your room for uh, those you care about, you know. But the best way to show someone some love, one of the best ways is to spend time with them and to... um, just hang out. That's one thing I love. I love hanging out with my grandmama. I love hanging out with my parents and my brother. And um, it's really fun because we get to share stories and we get to show each other how much we love each other. So I want you all to give a round of applause for our two volunteers. So I like this story a lot because it illustrates how it illustrates two people, two different ways to serve someone. There, on one side, it's um, you, you can you can clean up, you can do chores, and you can do things for people. In another way, it's spending time with them. And so I know I'm sounding very repetitive, but it's one of the most it's one of my favorite things to do. It's one of the best things to do for this Valentine's Day coming up. I want y'all to think about that. And so, <clears throat> see, the Bible it, the Bible itself doesn't specify what preparations Martha was doing, but one can imagine she was probably straightening up the house, fixing dinner for her, Mary, and Jesus, putting away clutter and stuff like that. But um, she was doing kind of like in my Valentine's with my grandmother's story that what I was doing, I was cleaning up the house and uh, I was making my grandmama stuff, but the one thing I wasn't doing was listening to her. I wasn't spending time with her. I wasn't talking to her. And sometimes that's what my grandparents want the most. They just want to spend time with me. They don't care if the house is dirty. They don't care if they have food. They just want to spend time with me and their other grandchildren. And so then we had Mary, and when Jesus came to the house, she had the option to prepare everything like Martha did, like Martha was doing. But instead, what she did, she went to Jesus' feet, and she went to listen to him, and she went to listen to the words he had to say. And then while Martha did do acts of service, um, Mary served Jesus with her time. She spent time with him, and she listened to him, and she listened to what, she had, what Jesus had to say. And so Martha confronted Jesus with her question. She's like, Tell my, she's like, why isn't Mary doing anything? Tell her that she should be doing stuff with me in order to uh, make the house look good for you, Jesus. And it's kind of it's kind of funny. I love the fact that Jesus doesn't blame Martha for working so hard. Rather, she just pointed out that Mary's priority of spending time with Jesus is better in a way than cleaning up the than cleaning up the house for him. It's better to listen to Jesus's word than to make stuff look good for him. And so connecting with Jesus meant paying attention to him, not the surroundings. And so we're not really sure what Martha did after Jesus responded, but, you know, um, some could think that she maybe got a little mad. Some could think she's, uh, she was probably a bit surprised by what Jesus said. But I think that, you know what, she was probably like, okay, she's like, okay, you, I'm fine with that. And so... Um, 
in his um in life it's easy to act like Martha, you know. It's easy to act like Martha, we get distracted by things, whether it be good or bad things. Especially this Valentine's Day when you're doing stuff like I want to help my parents clean the dishes or I want to clean up my room for my parents. And when sometimes your parents or your siblings or whoever um, it is you want to spend time with on Valentine's Day, they really just want to spend time with you and just find it like just find out how um, how you are and stuff like that instead of letting you clean and letting, um, watching you clean for them. So this this week, I want you all to think about this certain question. Um, it's about to pop up. What keeps you from connecting with others? Is it your phone? Like I know, especially especially me, I sometimes play on my phone too much, and my parents are like, you know, get off your phone, come talk to us. And sometimes I don't listen, but um, really, we need to put down certain stuff and pay attention to our surroundings and spend time with others. But it could be your phone, it could be a book, it could sometimes be cleaning, it could be um, maybe a gaming console, you know, a PlayStation or an Xbox or a Wii, because, you know, we, all, we always love our Wiis playing Just Dance, you know. That's pretty fun, you know. Just Dance, Just Dance is the best game ever, just saying. But um, I want you all to think about this as we go to our worship with Mr. Corey Jones. And, uh, um, sorry. And while well, we go to small groups, but I want you to read this verse um, again. And so. There's a verse. Yeah, okay, it popped up. I want us all to read it together. So y'all ready? Three, two, one, go. Here's what love is. It is not that we love God. It is that he loved us and sent his son to give his life to pay for our sins. First John 4, 10, nerve, nerve. That's, that's, fun. that's a fun phrase, nerve. Nerve, nerve gun, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. And so as we go into our worship, um, I want y'all to think about this. And as we go into small group, I want y'all to think about what keeps you from connecting to others. And I want y'all to think about this during this Valentine's Day week. And um, I want y'all to take what keeps you from connecting others the most, take that away. And I want y'all to spend more and more time with your family. And so this week, I want y'all to think about that. So right now, we have worship with Mr. Corey Jones. Y'all give a hand for him.